A mysterious radial signal from a distant constellation defies explanation for more than 30 years. Welcome to Watch Mojo, where we'll be covering the most haunting issues rooted in science, with many of them remaining unsolved. You wake up from your sleep seemingly conscious and alert, but something feels uncanny. Number 10. Nazca Lines if you're flying over the Nazca Desert in Peru, you might catch a glimpse of these monumental lines carved across the landscape. The Nazca covered these plains with geoglyphs and turned this desert into a space which was inhabited, dynamic, social, and vibrant through time. We believe they were created between 500 BC and 500 AD. The lines join together to create incredible images, but they can only be seen from the air. It doesn't take a historian to realize we had no way of flying until centuries after their creation. These images are impossible to see in their entirety from the ground. So the pilots realize they're probably the first people to ever truly witness the scale of this unusual formation. The desert climate has preserved them wonderfully, allowing researchers to catalog and study them. Unfortunately, no one has any concrete idea why they exist. A recent theory from 2025 claims they were used for teaching lessons with them being placed alongside pilgrimage routes. Instead of writing, they may have taught using the landscapes. And the relief style geoglyphs were found close to many ancient walking trails, which again supports the idea that these images communicated something to people walking nearby. And those images usually depicted some kind of scene, like people with livestock or human sacrifice, so they could have been conveying information about agriculture. Number nine, the L8 ghost blimp. The blimp's popularity took a huge hit because of the Hindenburg disaster in 1937. Still, once the United States joined World War II, the Navy kept a few blimps on hand. The flight of the ghost blimp began like hundreds of others had. Just after 6 a.m., a blimp designated Flight 101 prepared to take off. In August 1942, only a few months after Pearl Harbor, an abandoned blimp, the L-8, mysteriously appeared over San Francisco. It eventually crashed in Daly City, where they found no traces of its crew. It had departed from Treasure Island earlier that day with two crew on board. The flight plan called for the 101 to depart Treasure Island, pass over the Golden Gate Bridge, then head to the Farallon Islands 25 miles off the coast. Searchers couldn't find any trace of them. The gondola was left in good condition, which indicated they didn't plan to vanish, spurring theories that they fell out by accident. To this day, no one has any confirmed theories, and we likely never will. It was as if Cody and Adams had opened the door and simply stepped out into thin air. Number eight, the afterlife. What happens after we die? Your guess is as good as anyone else's, since it's a concept likely impossible to test. Jerry went into what he describes as the most peaceful outer body experience. I don't know if it's afterlife, I don't know what the occurrence was, but I went into a room and I got to meet up with a, with a group of people that were part of my past. We've developed tons of widely different theories from reincarnation to infinite paradise, but we can't agree on what happens. The common elements are the same around the world with different cultures. We can see the same features in ancient Greece and Rome accounts of, um, of near-death experiences. They include a sense of leaving the physical body, being in a place of peace and love and sense of well-being. What about science? Can that solve the problem? Currently, not really. Researchers have extensively analyzed near-death instances, searching for trends and similarities. Most of them involve out-of-body experiences and people traveling towards a light. Some even claim they saw dead relatives. Disappointingly, there's no concrete way to prove what happens. So for now, the rare first-hand account is the closest we can get. The best way I can describe it is that my eyes opened and then they opened again. And when they opened again, I was in this endless, misty, white room. Number seven. Yonaguni Monument. The idea of Atlantis, a city lost to the sea, is usually considered science fiction. Well, off the coast of Japan, a real-life Atlantis may exist. Deep in the Pacific Ocean lies the Yonaguni Monument. It was discovered in 1986 by a diver who found a stunning rock formation that looks man-made. Some marine geologists think they're monoliths created by people. 
荒竹さんと大変なものを発見したね自然にしろ人口にしろ A lot of people deny this idea, with the local government refusing to recognize them as significant. Quite a few geologists claim natural processes would be capable of making the formation. Similar structures exist in other places, all naturally made. Despite this, there are a few dedicated individuals convinced it's the remains of an ancient civilization. こんだけ平らなものとか直角な壁を見るとどうしても自然にできたものとは思えないのでこれをどうやって作ったんだろうとか。Number six, the Pioneer Anomaly. In the early 1970s, NASA launched spacecraft Pioneer 10 and 11. Pioneer 10 and 11 were designed to prove that we could get beyond Mars and get beyond the asteroid belt, have a spacecraft survive and stay in contact with that spacecraft. They were the first objects to observe Jupiter and Saturn close up. They both launched with highly sophisticated tracking technology, which revealed they weren't behaving as predicted. Both crafts slowed down unexpectedly, puzzling NASA, which initially had no clue what it was. And for a long time, it had scientists and engineers totally stumped. It took an intense data hunt, a computer simulation, and more than three decades to figure out what was going on. One prominent theory was that an unknown force was responsible, potentially coming from a hidden planet or even aliens. In 2012, they figured out that the sun's light induced an asymmetric temperature gradient. This causes a backward pressure, thus slowing it down. Scientists agreed this was a solid explanation. Therefore, it has since been considered solved. The Pioneer probes were retired in the 1990s, and we've lost communication with both of them. But it turns out that they had more in common with the Pioneers in the Wild West than we thought. They were packing heat. Number five, Honduran fish rain. The idea of it raining fish might seem like fiction, but in Euro Honduras, it happens as often as four times annually. They've had festivals to celebrate it since 1998, but it's been happening way longer than that, since at least the 1800s. The most common scientific explanations are that it's caused by tornadoes and water spouts. These meteorological solutions all assert the fish are sucked up into the air, then thrown across the region. The theory breaks down when you learn that the Atlantic Ocean, a probable fish source, is 45 miles away. So it's unlikely they'd be carried from there, then dropped on a tiny town inland. Hence, it remains largely unexplained. Number four, the dancing plague. People love to dance, but it's rare to see a whole village dancing. It's even rarer for them to dance constantly for weeks, with some dying of exhaustion. Rare, but not impossible, as proven by the infamous 1518 dancing plague of Strasbourg in the Holy Roman Empire. Within a week, another 34 people were dancing. Within a month, 400, all dancing relentlessly without music or song. It started with one woman, then spread to most of the village. It eventually stopped after dancers were taken to a shrine with prayer ending the craze. The most accepted theory is that it was mass psychosis caused by immense stress. The citizens had recently experienced war, famine, and numerous diseases, major contributions to the phenomenon. Most evidence shows that the dancing plague was a kind of cultural contagion, a mass hysteria triggered when life got too tough and the people just wanted to dance and lose their minds a bit. Number three, sleep paralysis. Now and again, you may wake up in the middle of the night unable to move. You might have hallucinations during your paralysis where you see a threatening presence on top of you or beside your bed. There's a crushing sensation in your chest, like you can't breathe. You might feel like you're floating above your body and looking down on yourself. You can hear and see, but you're physically paralyzed. This may even be accompanied by haunting hallucinations, which many compare to a demonic presence. This is the terrifying phenomenon of sleep paralysis. Even though it's relatively short, it's frightening. The specific cause is unclear, but we have a mild understanding of it. It's not something that's long lasting, but it, it's, it feels very terrifying to the patient. It happens when you become conscious during REM sleep, but your body remains paralyzed. Things we don't understand include what makes people more susceptible, alongside why some people have terrifying hallucinations, but others don't. So it's not a total mystery, but the details are still under investigation. It's really, really difficult. If you've ever experienced it, it can be terrifying, and it's not in your mind, it's an actual event. Number two, the wow signal. 
1997, a mysterious radio signal was detected by the Big Ear Telescope at Ohio State University. One possibility is that it really was a signal from deep space coming from some other society. It was discovered by Jerry R. Eman, who was so amazed he wrote, wow, on the printout, giving the signal its name. It came from Sagittarius, lasting 72 seconds in total. We've been unable to detect it since. Scientists wanted to see if they could find it again. They were able to narrow down the possible sources to somewhere in the constellation Sagittarius, possibly near the M55 star cluster, but never detected it again. Many consider it to be an alien signal, including Eamon himself. One team claims a comet caused the signal, but astronomers didn't agree, since the telescope wasn't pointed at one. In 2024, another report said a rare space event was responsible. It could also just be a human signal, but we have no clue what. Everybody was looking for aliens. Um, for the most part, everybody's looking for a radio signal from an extraterrestrial, excuse me, extraterrestrial source. And I wanted to approach this from a natural phenomenon. So Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. The Fermi Paradox and the Great Filter Since there are billions of stars similar to the Sun, even with a low probability of life, the galaxy should be teeming with aliens. So why apparently isn't it? As surprising as the so-called Great Silence may seem, there's a reason for it. We just don't know what it is. This is the Fermi Paradox. On its own, it's not scary, but a proposed solution, the Great Filter, is harrowing. It says there's a large obstacle stopping life from colonizing the stars. That great filter may be ahead of us. Maybe plenty of planets spawn 21st century style civilizations, but almost all go extinct or fall quiet before revealing themselves to the galaxy. It's unclear if humans have overcome it. If it's behind us, then humans have a bright future to look forward to. If it's ahead of us, then we're doomed. Either way, both are terrifying, and if the filter exists, then we may genuinely be entirely alone. It would mean that our future is out of the hands of statistics. It's our own to screw up or to seize. What mystery keeps you awake at night the most? Let us know in the comments below. But paradoxically, in our seas and our oceans far from sight, we can only find a small amount of the plastic waste that we produce. 